Welcome to Immigration on the Air. Once again, this is Awi Abayari, and uh, we would like you to tune in to this very important program with Attorney Jack Golan, whose offices are located at 3250 Wilshire Boulevard, that's Suite 1918 in Los Angeles, California. And uh, for your follow-up questions or you'd like to have your free initial consultation, you can always call him at 213-383-3222. Welcome once again, Attorney Golan, to our program, Immigration Update on the Air. I'm very happy to be with you and your listeners, as always. Thank you very, very much. Now, Attorney Golan, as usual, traditional in our program, would like to start with the latest news developments and hopefully some good news. Well, the later news developments are that uh, we, had <coughs> we had our national elections about two weeks ago on uh, November 8th, and Mr. Donald Trump was elected to be our president. Uh, his, pre his presidency begins in a few weeks, uh, in about two months, on January 20 of uh, 2017. We are still in the transition period. He will become president with all powers of presidency in, uh, J on January 20, 2017. And uh, this is the uh, latest major news. Uh, subsidiary to this is the news about who he is picking to fill out the important positions in his government. He already picked a few, uh, uh, a few people. Uh, the most interesting for our purposes and for your listeners is who he picked for attorney general. Uh, the position of Attorney General, who is like in other countries, Minister of Justice, the position of Attorney General is important because the Attorney General is in charge of the immigration court system, if, uh, uh, and, uh, which really means he is in charge of depo the deportation system. Uh, if anybody is caught by the immigration service, and the service wants to deport him or her, they need to be scheduled an appearance in immigration court because only a judge, in most cases, only a judge, an immigration judge, can order deportation, or what we call today removal, an order of removal, only by an immigration judge in immigration court. And this court system is subject to the jurisdiction and supervision of the Attorney General. 